going on everybody well we've gotten one hedge trimming job done there is the aftermath of it see no dump trailer needed guys and uh, still got half a trailer left got Bob Willoughby with me and uh, it's a hot one out here that last job left us soaking wet but we're gonna get this one done it's a little bit different for us so kind of show you they're all raised beds up inside of uh, retaining walls kind of different hope you guys are having a good weekend Whew. oh my goodness it's warm what's up Bob he wants to read a poem later later Bob later all right we're gonna get to work uh, because I want to get done and go enjoy the air condition and spend some time with my lovely wife. So here's what we're doing right here, guys. Barberries and, uh, oh gosh, I can't remember these. But we got weeding to do. Uh, Bob, you might want to start down here, but that's just me. Anyway, guys, let's get to work. of those today so he's gonna weed clean that up we're gonna move to this side do the same thing and uh, pretty simple man the back is where we're gonna have to break out the hula ho if you don't know what that is stay tuned I'll show you he's wearing a hat it's a $20 tool 18 bucks that you can get at Home Depot Lowe's on Amazon and it is wonderful so We'll be back. Okay, guys, this is the front. All done. Took us about 20 minutes or so to get that done. Take you around the side. We got this little bed weeded out. Take you around here. Now, I got to ask you guys. To me, that looks like a pumpkin or squash or something like that i'm not too up on my vegetables fruits and all that so i called the customer and i'm leaving it until now but uh got a little pile of weeds there now we're gonna start over here yeah that's a mess and let me show you the real mess here it is that's the mess And just so you know, this is not poison sumac, okay? It's not going to hurt you. Anyway, I'm going to show you guys what we do to this with the hula ho, and you can watch the whole process. We'll be back.
All right, guys. We got that cleaned out really as good as we could. And uh, just got that hedge trimmed. Jeremy's doing a great job, but I have to show you the weed of all weeds. This is incredible. So I'll be right back. Here it is, guys. The weed of all weeds. Now, I would say that's at least eight, eight and a half feet tall. That is the biggest weed I have ever seen. And, uh, yeah, insane. I've seen weeds bigger than that at my condo. I pulled one You're big. kidding me. No, I pulled one that big. This is the biggest one I have ever seen. I don't know about you guys, but it took all my strength to get it out. And I throw, I throw them in my little... Uh, We're going to clean this out. So we'll get time lapse that baby for you and see how nice it looks at the end. A lot of ground cover in this bed. That's why it's hard to clean out. Okay, we'll show you when we're done with this one, man. I'll tell you what. Whoo, I am drenched. Did a hedge trimming job that was huge before this one, probably about 45 hedges. We had uh, boxwoods, uh, viburnums, big ones, probably eight, nine feet tall. Um, what else? A lot of spiraled boxwoods, um, ewes. It was, it was a good sized job. So, and it is brutal out here today. So, I'll show you after view when we're all done. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, guys, we are finished. And uh, let me show you the back. I don't know if you can remember what it looked like. There's the burning bush, and there's that corner. And here comes Big Bob Willoughby. Bob, I heard that you wanted to share a poem today. It's a little foggy because it's work sweat. Yeah, it's work sweat because that's what we do is work. That's what we are. Let me break it down to you. It's real men, real work. Go this way, Bob, because I can't see your face. There we are. We're live. We're out here. We're real men. We got two in the back. That's what we do. We chew and we work and we go home to our women. Now I'd like to leave you the whole sentiment of my heart of my dreams to drive the skag. I know you've heard skag plumes before, but this one I think is not too bad. You tell me. It's always been my dream to drive a skag. I know one day it will come to pass as I know as I mow that fresh green grass. One day soon, I'll be riding on a skag early in the morning, drinking a fresh coffee. People from near and far will watch me ride my skag all night and day. They'll say, no way. And then most people will be jealous and envious of my skag, thinking ways to steal it. That's why I installed an alarm. If you are thinking about stealing it, I will prosecute you to the fullest limits of the law and cut your hands off with a machete. So keep your hands, so keep your hands off my skag, and we'll be fine, and we'll enjoy the nice little sunshine. <laughs> there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, Bob Willoughby, big Bob Willoughby, 
And uh, now it's time for us to go to the dump and struggle to get that all off of there. But uh, what a day, man. What a day. Hot, brutal work, two jobs, and uh, that's how you make the money. So I really don't have any words of wisdom today other than there, there are millions of homes okay millions of homes and if you want to get out and start a lawn care business what are you waiting for why wait get out there knock on doors put flyers out put ads out get a google page do whatever you got to do but there's money everywhere man i bet you if i knocked on 100 homes i'd get at least two or three jobs guys as always thanks for watching I'll see you tomorrow. Well, what, what are you doing, Bob? Huh? What are you doing? See, what I was doing was, this is a trick of the trick. Don't tell anyone. Well, I'm on YouTube, so you can be telling everyone. I'm surveying the area for extra, <laughs> for extra gold. <laughs> Guys, as always, Dr. Real was in the house. Keep it real with Big Bob Willoughby. And we'll see you guys probably Monday. I'm out of here. Peace.